They're fresh and fit. They some suckers and they some mom. They ain't got no woman that'll cook them breakfast. They ain't got no woman that'll cook them breakfast. Let me just tell you something. I think passport bros. I think the passport bros, I think those are suckers. So today's video is actually going to be about I've been preach and Charleston White. I was going to title it, Charleston White is about to be I've been preached. Because since I've been on this platform, I've been preached are basically like 4-0, and just going against people. You know what I'm saying? They have not taken an L yet. And Charleston White is their new opponent. So as I'm looking up videos and stuff like that, I came across some things that saying Charleston White and Fresh and Fit are having beef. Shout out to MTR because I actually saw like the first 20 seconds of the uh, of Charleston White on his joint and I wanted to do my own reaction so I went and found it and you know so here's my reaction to this video. Um, <clears throat> if you're familiar with Charleston White you know he does a lot of talking. But listen can somebody tag uh, uh, fresh and fit? I don't like them. I don't like fresh and fit. Invited me back on their podcast. Let me just say this: them some suckers. Yeah, fresh and fit. They some suckers and they some mob. They ain't got no woman that'll cook them breakfast. They ain't got no woman that'll cook them breakfast. Let me just tell you something. I think passport bros. I think the passport bros. I think those are suckers. Got to go out the country to go get a brawl. You a sucker. Them ain't nothing but down low homosexual men that, that play footsies with each other. Man, this is a bullshit ass thing right here. Okay, it's stand like this. Man, man, why the motherfucker don't stand like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. So listen, I want to tell Fresh and Fit. So listen, this what these said. Now they paid me, the first podcast they paid me. They invite me to come back on the second podcast, but them niggas don't want to pay me. They told me it was a gesture. So let me tell Fresh and Fit this. Nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. I think the light skinned nigga is a sucker. I think the dark skinned nigga is a punk. Yeah, yeah, I don't think them can get no kind of pussy, baby. Now, nah, them is some more. You see how they talk to women? Now, when I got on the show, I put some macking down. I showed you how to mack to the young bros. Did y'all know that when I was on the show, them little hoes listen to everything I said? Them nigga were beating up on the bitches. Them niggas some. They couldn't get no pussy in school. Now look at them. They beating up on the girls because they in a better position. Now only the strong can show compassion for the weak. You don't show no compassion for them young girls. And I notice y'all pick on girls just left their mamas and daddies house. You don't go get. You don't go get no women. You don't go get no married women that got a strong man. Hey, I'm not going to lie. I've been, I've been saying that about the Fresh and Fit podcast for a minute. And I've heard other people say that too, that the females that they have on there aren't females that are like, that can actually hold a conversation with them. They really get like Instagram models and and fucking OnlyFans models and shit like that. I, I have been saying that. So, okay, Charleston. Okay, Charleston. And talk to them. You nigga go get the most vulnerable young ladies out of our population. I think both you fresh and fit is the weakest black man talking. The Andrew Tate, he a goddamn rapist. Now, baby, the Andrew Tate in jail for rape and all kind of shit. And they stay sucking his dick. They are, they are Tate dick sucker. The fresh and fit is, a, is some Tate dick sucker. Now, them niggas don't know how to handle no hoe. And they ain't never pimped on no bitch. See, I done pimped before, baby, you hear me? And I ain't never had to slap a hoe. No, no, I done pimped on a bitch before and the hoe done gave me all the money and I ain't never had to slap a bitch. And I ain't have to pimp from my hips. My conversation been a mother. These sucker ass, them fresh and fit, say, I wouldn't dare sit on your podcast for free. You got to pay me. I, I don't like you like that. You just some watered down Kevin Samuels. When Kevin Samuel was alive, you couldn't get no attention. You just ain't got the pizzazz, you just ain't got the wherewithal, you just ain't got no swagger. You is some rich suckers. <laughs> Listen, fresh and fit, light skin, dark skin, salt and pepper. You <laughs> just is some rich suckers. And I think every, I think every Highland passport, the passport bros, 
I don't want to be in no group that end with bros. I come from an era where they say pimping and hoeing is the best thing going. That bros over whole shit, yeah, yeah, you play grab ass and pull your pants down. Uh, yeah, show each other booties, playing, getting out the shower, that kind of shit. You know, the white boy kind of shit. Pop each other on the towel with the ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. a bunch of mother rich, well-to-do, passport bros, all sitting in a sauna together, bashing women, sweating like a mother. No females in the group waiting to go buy a pussy later on tonight. That's all passport bros doing. A bunch of weenie guys getting together, riding ATV. A bunch of guys congregating together. Uh, nut to butt. Nut to butt. Yeah. Uh, having fun. God damn it. And then tricking. Tricking. That's all passport bros you're doing. Going over to the other sea, other country, thanking them foreign women like you because you something. They only like you because they know the American dollars being well over there. Go over there with them pesos. Go over there with a bunch of other pesos and watch how they do you. Yeah, go over somewhere and try to spin that yen or that yang. That yen. And watch how they that yen. You, nigga. I hate a passport, bro. Ho. I thank you to get booty. Yeah, I thank you to be somewhere. Four of y'all might be somewhere playing basketball. Pass the ball. Shoot. Three. Two of y'all somewhere jacking each other out. You can't make me believe passport bros is strong, baby. Yeah. Them fresh and fit and some real weenies. Now, nah, them think I'm going to come sit on a podcast for free where they beat up on girls. No, you know, you know. Then I ain't finna go nowhere. Where they, they sit up and beat up on the bitches and now I don't get no pussy afterward. You try to shame them little girls and again, y'all some pussy. That's what they be doing, baby. They be trying. They don't know how to ask for no pussy. They don't know how to put their arm around no woman and talk to us. And yeah, baby, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I played basketball in school. Yeah, and I was a yeah, and I I was a band leader. I used to play. <laughs> yeah, I played the in the sixth grade. Baby. I was the motherfucking team in the sixth grade. They don't know how to say no. <laughs> they were, hey, uh, 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 I'm a male and you're a woman, and I'm submissive. And you're submissive. I'm on top, you know, because God made me first. Why do you think the woman makes less money than the man? I want some pussy. I don't give a damn about what no woman is. All that shit. Yeah, yeah. And fella, if, 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 no, I ain't got no law. No, I ain't got no law to your industry. One, one of them is a mixed breed. The other one is an African nigga. They not my kind. I'm only loyal to my kind, huh, baby? I'm only loyal to my kind. How do you know your kind? By their actions. My kind of niggas don't jump down on bitches and they got a bunch of money. My kind of bitches, my kind of niggas from, from their position will they reach down crying, and pull the up. Did you see me on their podcast? Now, I told them myself, say, bitch ass, I'm insulted. I told my manager, listen, tell them, for one, I'm insulted. I feel disrespected. The little black mother go send a manager. My manager say, well, we only paid him the first time because that's a gesture. Let me tell you whole ass nigga something. No pussy getting ass. Single ass. Let me tell you bitch ass something. Y'all platform ain't. Bro, Charleston White is the reason why I would never collaborate with a lot of YouTubers, bro. Like, <clears throat> even from before, when my YouTube channel was sort of kind of jumping, where I was doing hair tutorials and stuff like that, a lot of the people that used to be hitting me up and I used to talk to back then, we don't talk anymore. Like, the way YouTube works, motherfuckers only want to fuck with you when you're going someplace. And then what I've realized is a lot of YouTubers that used to collaborate, they now have beef. So, it's probably only like two YouTubers that I really fuck with, and they both are big. You feel what I'm saying? Now I don't fuck with them because like they they big. I don't never ask them for help or nothing like that. It's just like it was good, bro. I see you out here getting it. Go ahead and do your thing. Actually, no, it's three. It's three. 
You feel me? One of them is a barber. One of them owns a hair company. And the other one does reactions. Shout out to my boy Screwface Gene. But I don't, everybody else, like, I don't talk to them. I don't fuck with them like that. You feel me? Yeah, bro. Charleston White shows me exactly why I act the way I act. Because every person that he has collaborated with, he has beef with now. I don't know why y'all keep doing it to yourselves. Like, niggas just literally just keep inviting this man on their platform. And then a few months down the line, y'all don't mess with each other no more. What's the point? 